the Stafford Center will soon be filled with the melodies of the Fort Bend Symphony Orchestra as they open their 20th season. One of the special things that we're doing this year is performing works that have been requested by our audience members. At the end of last season, I asked the audience members to contact me and to submit their favorite pieces and tunes and things that they'd like for us to perform. So over the summer, I compiled all those emails and all of those, uh, the list of pieces, and I came up with several themes for the season. Um, and we've got special music that's being composed. Our composer in residence, Monty Pishney Floyd, is, has written a fanfare for us. It's called Texas Surprise, and that's in celebration of his upcoming birthday and our 20 year anniversary. So that was a nice excuse to get him to write some music for us. The celebration committee, which consists of myself, um, Sandy Chapman, and Marilyn Conger, who are all original members of the symphony, um, our main goal for uh, this year is to express our thanks to the audience. Um, for supporting us all these years. We've created some gift items that we're going to give audience members. So we have 20 gifts that we're going to give to 20 audience members at every concert. We have other little giveaways and surprises on our Facebook page. We have quite a few things going and, and Hector always is good at coming up with surprises during performances. So we have that to look forward to. Per audience request, this season will feature a variety of music. Our official season opener is entitled In an English Garden, and these are works, these are British works, some of the greatest British masterworks along with some tunes by the Beatles. We've got a concert in February, and that's going to be uh, entitled Far Away Places, and that's music from all over the world. This was, uh, I had a couple of requests from audience members and I didn't know how I was going to piece them together, and I just thought, well, if we did this potpourri, of, of works, we could bill it as faraway places, so kind of a musical journey uh, around the world. And the last concert of the year is going to be a, a Broadway review, and that was, we had a lot of requests for Broadway music uh, at the end of last season, so I've, we've put together a really exciting show of uh, Broadway music with some soloists coming back to perform with us and a couple of just instrumental tunes. The symphony provides an enjoyable time for everyone. I think the biggest thing that I want the audience to take away from the performances is just a joy and love of music. I think that we do our best to satisfy the cultural entertainment needs of this community and we definitely strive to entertain, to educate a little bit and just to have, have a great time. We are affordable, we are close to home and we are so happy to be in the beautiful Stafford Center, and it's, it's such a nice place for the orchestra members to perform. Our concerts are really fun to go to. It's not maybe your typical orchestra concert that you would think about, and uh, Hector really puts together programs that are entertaining and for all ages, so it's a really great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. I like being able to play music with my friends. I think everyone here what drives them to do this is that we have a, a great love of music. And we're doing this for, for everybody, for the community. Um, we do it because we love it, because it's fun. The orchestra is made up of volunteers, so if there's anybody out there that plays an instrument and that's thinking about picking it up again, we would love to satisfy that need and, and have them join us. For a complete season schedule, to find out how to audition, or for more information, visit fbso.org. For Artbeat, I'm Chris Barkas.